A total of 30 booths are in place for the voter registration holding at the Tafar Balewa Square, Lagos. Two INEC officials man each booth, with about 60 registrants being attended to at a time and an estimated 300 per hour. All aimed at ensuring that more Nigerians, especially the youths, participate in the general elections in 2023. It's appalling that only 4% of young people turned up in the presidential elections and 3.9% turned up in the governorship elections in 2019. If young people who constitute the largest bulk of our of registered voters do not see the need to activate the power of their term and make their numbers count at elections, then we should be concerned and worried about the future of our democracy. With nine tents mounted, the crowd is split into two to make the process easier. Four tents for fresh registrants, while the remaining five are for online pre-registration, transfer update replacement, and those categorized as priority. For some of the registrants here, although the main registration lasts about five minutes, it takes a long time to get to their turn. It was very hectic, and coming into the podium has been a, it's been very difficult. We waited, there are a lot of chaos, so many. The security were they weren't helping the issues at all. But as God we have it at the end, we made it in. I'm here before seven o'clock, but now it's too far, be too far. Now uh, I nearly go through because I don't know that I will still do it today. Because uh, you get the time that everybody's rushing, jumping, but thank God, final panel, I done my own. So I'm happy now. A few meters from the crowd, preparations are underway to round off the exercise, which began on Monday with the Youth Vote Count mega concert on Saturday. The essence of the Youth Vote Count campaign is to see how we can provide a platform for young people to connect um, by using pop culture. So, who are the people they would listen to? Who are the influencers? Who are the crowd pullers? We hope to have. Um, voter education messages where people can also ask questions. We'll have booths here. So people should just please turn up. And of course, the concert is free, but you need your PVC to have access to the concert. Majority of those who turned up for the exercise are the youth, and the younger demographics seem to be showing their willingness to take their fights from the social media to the polling units by first registering for their PVCs.